Hey y'all, today we're gonna have a look inside this thing. This is a load box, also known as a dummy load. These are used during the repair of amplifiers to provide a load for the output. They're also used for silent recording in conjunction with the DI box. At the end of the video, I show a basic setup for that. So have a look at that as well. Let's see what's inside this thing. Okay, so on the outside is pretty straight ahead. We've got the input. And this is a BNC connector output that goes to the scope via this cable. Uh, we have the uh, impedance load switch, 4, 8, or 16, and then the case. So let's see what's inside. All right. So we have four power resistors, um, three eight ohm and one four ohm, and they are Dale manufacture power resistors. Uh, aluminum casing, this helps dissipate the heat. They're also bolted to this piece of aluminum, which uh, helps dissipate the heat as it gets hot. Here's our input jack. Here's the inside of the BNC jack, it heads out to the scope. And this is the back of the um, one pole triple throw switch. The switch determines which ordering of the uh, resistors in order to get the correct impedance for the amp. Signal flow in from the jack to the switch. And then depending on how the switch is set, it goes out into the power resistors and provides the load for the amplifier. So this is the basic circuit. You have the uh, input jack, the hot, and the ground. And then that hot goes to the switch, which is a single pole triple throw, single pole triple throw. This is the 16 ohm, the eight ohm, and the four ohm selection. Tapped off of here, is going to be another jack. This is the jack that goes out to the BNC connector for the scope. We're going to have one 8 ohm resistor, one 50 watt 8 ohm resistor here. Coming off of the 8 ohm lug and connecting, we'll have a 4 ohm 50 watt resistor. And then coming off the 4 ohm, connect to the bottom side, and then we'll have two. 8 ohm 50 watt resistors in parallel connected to ground. And this will provide 100 watts max at 4, 8, and 16 ohms. It's also possible to use this for direct silent recording. You would set the selector to whatever your amp usually uses for a speaker cabinet, 4 or 8 or 16 ohms. And then we could bring in our little friend the model DB1 direct box. You'd plug the output from your amplifier into the input. The output here would then go into the input of the load box. You would set the uh, high cut. If you're using an IR, you'd set it flat. And if you were not using an IR, you could set it to high cut so that it emulates the speaker. Um, then this low Z output would go to your recording console. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about anything in the video today, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, feel free to leave ideas for things you'd like to have a look inside of, and I'll see if I can get my hands on them. Thanks so much.